Well, coronavirus fears are forcing many to rethink the traditional air travel and hotel stays of past summers and look to RVs as a safer alternative. Leah Linscheid and Consumer Reports give us a beginner's guide to motorhomes. You know, you can't go to the amusement parks. You can't go to the zoos right now. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to camp. Karen and Mark Soyoski love taking road trips in their RV trailer with family. We absolutely do love going with our grandkids. We're leaving this weekend. That's all they've been talking about. And they won't be alone on the highways this year. Some RV and camper dealerships have seen up to 170% increases in sales, and many are first-time buyers. When people are looking to get out of the house, a motorhome allows you to do that while maintaining social distancing. It even allows you to avoid some places that you may feel less comfortable, such as staying at a hotel or going to restaurants. With an RV, you bring it all with you. There are two types of RVs to consider. A motorhome that combines the living quarters and vehicle in one package or a travel trailer. Be aware that because of their heavier weight, some motorhomes may not have to meet all of the same safety standards as passenger cars, and they're also generally not crash tested. A motorhome can be expensive to buy. A travel trailer is a more affordable option. Now, of course, you're going to need a tow vehicle, but because these come in different shapes and sizes, you may already own one. Larger fifth wheel style trailers will require a heavy duty pickup to tow. Smaller travel trailers like traditional pop up and lightweight trailers can be towed by most SUVs or even cars with a tow hitch. These trailers are also more fuel efficient to haul around and you can get in one starting around $10,000. Whichever style of RV fits your budget, Consumer Reports recommends buying one with many safety features like backup cameras and electronic stability control. For News 3 Now, this is Leah Lynchine. Can't you see me driving that down the road? <laughs> I would love to do that. I did that with my parents when I was 16. We went oh. out to South Dakota. See, and that must have been a... It was a blast. Exactly. Oh, I would love to try it. Well, if you want to try an RV before you buy, you're not alone. The rental site RV Share reported a huge spike in RV rentals since April. And Consumer Report says if you're going to be using a rental RV, check the cleaning policies of your host or the rental company before using... Be, 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 what they do before you book. Before you book it. That's right. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> On the road again. <laughs> yes. All right, we'll be right back.